the Metropolitan Police have yet again had to pay out more taxpayers' money to the families of three gay men who were killed by Stephen Port due to the police investigatory failings. The civil claims were said to have been settled by the force with the relatives of Anthony Wargate, Gabrielle Covari and the partner of Daniel Whitworth. Stephen Port was caught and jailed in 2015 after murdering the three men mentioned and a fourth victim, Jack Taylor. It said that the investigatory failing, or fuck-ups, were being investigated by the IOPC, who have never had any investigatory failings themselves now, have they? Over the Met's handling of the case. The original investigation into police involvement in the case is now said by the IOPC to have been materially flawed and that new import uh, sorry a new and that a new informant had come forward during the inquest in 2021 into the death of the victims the metropolitan police said in a statement that the metropolitan police service has settled civil claims from the families of anthony wargate and gabrielle cavari as well as the partner of daniel whitworth we have previously apologised to the families for the police failings in this matter and understand the impact these have had and the distress caused. We apologise again now. Our thoughts and sympathies are with the families as always. Your thoughts and sympathies go out to the families. Yet another line from the get out of shit quick handbook for police chiefs meaningless platitudes part of the reason the investigation is to be investigated is due to a very large number of very serious and very basic investigative failings by police identified through the coroner's reports including a lack of professional curiosity about the cases isn't it funny just how quite overly curious they are over somebody with a drone or with a camera but when it comes to people being murdered, ah, fuck it, we don't really care about that. Kind of shows you where the priorities lie. And because you need professionalism to be professional. And we all know that went out the window many years ago. Being professional isn't as important to the police these days as deleting their WhatsApp messages or removing their collar numbers before you storm a protest. An inquest jury found that police in Barking missed repeated opportunities to catch Stephen Port after he plied his first victim, Anthony Walgate, with a fatal dose of GHB and then dumped his body. Port then struck three more times before he was caught, killing each victim in an almost identical circumstance, with police failing to link him to the deaths despite detective work carried out by the victims, families and friends themselves that would lead to the culprit. Police had obviously denied accusations of prejudice and homophobia, blaming their mistakes on being understaffed and lacking resources, of course, because blaming anybody but yourself is the way the police operates. But I'm glad that the families of Stephen Port's victims have been compensated although I doubt very much whatever they've been paid is going to make much of a difference considering the loss that they've all experienced. 